Hey everybody, my name is Kadem, welcome back for the video of Cyberpunk 2077. Let's go ahead and continue this series, boys. I'm really enjoying it, uh, this game a lot. I've been playing it a lot during my own free time. I just got ran over by a car right there. That's what happens when you don't watch on both sides, boys, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I've been playing this game for uh, uh, a while now on my own free time in between videos. As you can see, uh, if I go back to the menu, you can see I'm level 9, 17 a street credit. Whatever that means, I don't know what that means exactly. A 7% is the amount of percentage you got for the game overall. I think it's for the story itself. Um, I had plenty of money, so I managed to um, basically uh, pay my debt uh, to uh, Victor or something like that. So my debt is paid for him and all of this. So there's a lot of good stuff happening basically in the... I'm having a good time, so I'm gonna go on foot actually right here. I think I'm pretty close enough. Yeah, so we're supposed to meet Lizzie uh, or go to Lizzie's bar between uh, 6 uh, 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. in order to basically uh, Talk to that person. We should be okay. We're in the right time anyways, so we're in the morning and stuff like that in, in game so uh, we should be just fine. Let's go. Uh, let's go in boys. It just opened a couple of uh, minutes Looking ago, I think. Put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Ah, uh, sure. I'm in. Sure. And I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs. No groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog. Ask for a BD and get yourself a box. I really look that green for you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. <laughs> Alright. She really thinks I'm a newbie, man. The hell? I know what to do, man. It's the strip bar. Come on, chill. Alright, let's go, boys. We're going in. My, what a sweet little face you have. You call him uh, you calling me a sweet little face? You're about to uh chill on that. Right, let me uh take this first off. Alright. I'm after somebody, so we got a contact here that wants to talk to us. Let's find out which one it is. Sit at the bar and ask about Evelyn. So Evelyn is the one that wants to talk to us. Let me just take every single one of these things right here. All right. Uh, hey, what do you know, buddy? Do you know uh, a girl about uh, that's named Evelyn? Uh, what can I get for here? Better get going. No, looking for Evelyn. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who is asking? Name's V. Answer the question. You know, name's V. Name's V. She and I have a uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh huh. So, Evelyn? Club's big. You're gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. Would you be Evelyn? Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you. I knew it was you. There we go. You walked in. Why didn't you come over sooner? Why not say hello soon? I wanted to get a good look at you first. And like what you see? <laughs> Let's talk business. Why are we meeting here? Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing. This place. Mm -hmm. hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. All right. Let's go. Private me. Uh, private uh, setting with her, boys. Now let's sit down. You got something for me, girl? Something of interest, maybe? Dex had a load to say about you. He called you professional, trusted, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Don't know him well. I haven't worked together long. Uh, let's just cut to the chase. You don't care what Dex thinks. You don't give a rat's dick 
what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No, just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? Just started. How do how I just get down to business? Cause we, I, I don't have time to chat. I'm a busy man, man. Let's talk biz. I mean, it's nice, but I didn't come here to get my ego stroked. No, you're here to gain some knowledge, the life-changing kind. Well, now you got me all excited. Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic, secure your soul trinket. You taking the program, actually. We're tangling with Arisaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arisaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Nope. Out of my price range. Never had the opportunity. Okay, I, what can I say? You, times can change, though. You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. Where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Tell me you're one of them. Let's see what's up. Uh, what's up your sleeve? Uh, you want to be got an army around an army around him? See, so see, he's my target. Uh, the big guy. Well, it doesn't surprise me. Let's see what's, uh, what's up you your got sleeve. Any spare aces up your sleeve. Now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Plans to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Uh, so what uh, stated to get in return? Netwatch, something doesn't add up. Ah, uh, what is it? Where does he keep the relic? Security on the device, I don't ask too, too many ways. questions, boys. I just do the job. And that's now, it. Where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container, one that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is. You'll see for yourself soon enough, provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay. What's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? New facts, not thrills. <laughs> you think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? No. It can be a very useful tool. How much? Good for analyzing no, details, double. human perception, Damn, even break. boosted. And grasp. Uh, oh, I'm exactly insulting you, you? So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. Like anything else? The glorious I interior. Uh, You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Relax. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. You better have. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we're well, gonna waste my time, right? So if she wants me to use that BD, which not a fan of, boys. Don't think it's gonna. Mean to say it's gonna happen. I'm sorry about that, but. Mm -hmm. If Get I have a choice, I won't do it. Why? You object? Uh, sure. Uh, so you know uh, Unibri personally, huh? It's supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. All right, bring me Judy to your Lopez. brain dance. She's a mox too. Besides, we go back uh, years. Look, that's how it is, huh? No, no, no! I don't want to hear it. 
All right, let's go in. This I'm ready. No, Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. I can't promise anything, my girl. I'm no stranger to tech. In biz or life. Yeah, I can't promise you anything. If she's rude to me, I'm gonna be rude to her. Hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Got quite a setup here. You know, I'm just not gonna say anything. Compiled your BD yet? What do you think? do still pretty raw but yeah ought to do mm -hmm. v needs to get deep inside that's most important so let's calibrate doing it to him don't push me the hell all right let's go in boys believe me i've dealt with work it's like this is going to be some sort of matrix type of thing right there we gotta contend with sometimes so we drop v inside let him look let him rummage around right how about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? What? What's so raw about it? What do you mean by raw? How does this differ from the ready-mades? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real estate. But it's mass market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced in, and masterful. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. All right, then. Let's get it going, then. Let's have a trip. A big time trip in my head. That's going to be interesting, it, it won't it? I got a bad feeling about this, boys. We're going full VR on them. Next level VR. I'm not gonna like this at all, ain't I? Gotta create your sentry profile first. Alright, profile away. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. What do you mean not this time? Still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingle. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Oh shit, my eyes, man. Am I gonna have to recalibrate each time? You do this often? Like this. All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn tuning. Crank up the orgasms? More like cut out all the other shit. Fucking business as usual for these guys. Their minds wander. There's grocery lists, spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things, mold the emotion into something unique, unforgettable. So, I can't complain. One more sec. Receptor All right, fixing my brain right here, man. All set. You need to test your profile first, tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we? Careful where you send me, my girl. Use my recording. Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks. Besides, won't take a sec. Got something here. Shouldn't be perfect. All right, start the BD. Let's do it. Boot it up. Whatever you, uh, whatever you put me in, I can handle it. Let's go. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. We're in, boys. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot an extra for a wicked adrenaline hype. Okay, 
That's next level right there, boys. Everybody, on the ground. I want to see you kissing the flooring. Money, now, or I will fucking drop you. I swear to God. Whoa, yo, hey. Now, before I blow your fucking head off. That's it? Just the cash register? You're not gonna go for the actual bounty? Okay. Whatever, man. What a loser. That's it? I was too much? Could have warned me. That flash of intense shock. I can still feel it or remember. Fuck, that last second. It could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing. So she simulated me and uh, she simulated death to me. I uh, is that necessary? You didn't need to do that. I'll sever the link to the VD roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Full team view. Full oh, all right then. In analysis mode. So move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So My little sandbox, huh? All right. right. All right, so playback mode. Okay, good. All right, so that's interesting. So you got a playback mode and everything. No resident scanning. Okay, so can we not like? How do I scan this place? Rewind. Okay. Uh, editing mode. Oh, editing mode, please. There we go, there we go. Rewind, scanning, scanning, scanning. There's nothing here. What am I supposed to scan exactly? That's a clue right there. So we're scanning this. There we go. Let's move on. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything. Every little detail. Even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, switch layer. Now it's the sound. sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Hone it on. So we're scanning this now, so we're gonna get the sound of this. Interesting. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So All right. And now we're scanning this. Seriously, like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. So to switch between available brain dance layers, I'm gonna scan this. Okay, so we got the the sounds and everything. Okay, let me switch it up. Whoa, 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 whoa. come back! What, what just happened? That's like the limits of the reality recorded by the BD roller. The editor won't let you outside it. Makes sense. Okay, uh, let's see really quick. Uh, switch layers again. Like what? Meaning you should be able to grab key signatures from her recording. Huh. Hello nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. Okay. There we go. Let's just do our thing right here. Boom. Alright. Now we're scanning this or scanning this girl. So facial or I guess recognition stuff, store customer. Okay, so we got her. What now? Okay, close. Close it out. Exit the brain dance. Close the yeah. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, impressive, right? Too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck. No way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when. Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. 
please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Running for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Why would it be a problem? That's what we agreed, Ed. You can trust T-Bug? Relax. Everything will be fine. Relax, Judy. Everything will be fine. You don't quite grasp the risk I took by letting you in here. What I'm risking poking around with this stuff. We're all taking risks here. That's the job. So either T-Bug patches in or I'm on my way out. Yeah. It's either that or that. Judy, please. There's no options here. Fine. Call her. Let's get this over with. Let's go. It's called T-Bog, man. You're going to be in with me, man, my girl. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compeki? Oh, hot Evans. Someone there with you? Doesn't matter. You ready? Unimportant, T-Bug. Please focus. Need your help. I've got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? I'm Militech. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice and we're clear. All right. Let's do it. Up, Judy. We're going back in again, boys. Now, what are we going to experience this time? You look like a cut fuck meat. Are you? Evelyn. She. I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to fix it. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Okay, so in the audio layer, scan the other B's phone as he talks. Um, sure, editing mode. Let's scan the phone, boys. I do not like how it looks. It's super heafy. I really don't like it. Uh, scan the phone. Where's the phone? Where's it at? Uh, hold on. Because we're in the right audio, right? Unless we gotta basically go back right here. Oh, uh, is that it? Uh, I think that's it, boys. Scan it. There we go. Alarm system. So we're scanning this. Bud, saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling through their sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their sieves. Okay, good. We got keys. Uh, I did w went ahead and uh, there we go scan him so he's scanned up as well now if we go in right there it's it's the audio he wants right so we got to switch layers basically oh there we go that's what he wanted we got to switch the layers and stuff and uh, let's go scan this sound ventilation and cooling servers gotta be fancy doodads in here need to be controlled but all right, so we got all of this in the other layer. Scans phone as he talks, so that's his phone right there. I imagine, yeah. There we go, just like that, boy. So we got his audio. Listen in. Look for them. A visual layer. All right, switch layers. Visual. 
Uh, scan Yodobi's data pad while it's turned on. While it's turned on? Okay, I, I, I was about to say while it's turned on. It's like, oh shit, it's about to go down. Alright, I found the data pad, boys. Uh, it's right there in the bedroom. God damn. Oh, that's actually a gun right there. That's not a data pad. Loaded. But whatever. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. But there's the data pad right there, boys. That's what we need. Hold on. Scan this shit up. Yo, scan it up. Come on, man. There we go. Uh, it took me forever to figure it out. God damn. I thought it was in the first one, the first, uh, the first option. It wasn't. I was wondering. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Uh, thermal vision. So the thermal layer is now unlocked. To switch between layers, press blah blah blah. Oh, thermal. What? This is new. You didn't you didn't tell me that the first time around. Scan for thermal clues to find the relic. Uh, what now? Uh, clues. Oh, there it is. There it is. Right there. There's something right there, boys. AC. Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Temp matches that stipulated in the dock, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Temp fluctuations, risk of damage. Okay, so we gotta find another way out uh, or in. Look, can we not just go in and shoot our way through, or is that not how it works? Why do we have to literally. Like, uh, not go our way to shoot and stuff. Oh, hold on. Oh, God. They're going in. Uh, okay, so... I gotta figure out the right paths for this. So, it's probably... I just gotta rewind until they give me an option or something like that. Uh, there it is. Uh, there it is. Uh, somewhere around here. Yeah, there's something right there, boys. Alright, so... Uh, scan that shit up. We got something champing in the ice bucket. What does that mean? Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. You really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Temp too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. So it's not gonna be in there. We gotta keep rewinding, I guess. I gotta tell you, this mission I'm not a fan of. I'm really not a fan of the graphics. Uh, it's hurting my eyes quite a lot. And also, I I just don't like the, the feel of it. I, I don't like this mission whatsoever. This mission's kind of uh, boring doesn't add up to anything so anyways oh hopefully we don't have too much of these to do boys because this is just uh, not a good mission whatsoever right now it's kind of pointless especially when you're a guy like me who's trying to just uh shoot stuff right so scan the apartment security systems don't need it don't need to do that don't know why we would scan these uh security thingies Especially since I'm just gonna shoot my way through. You already know, boys, how uh, I do stuff. Alright, boys, so we got a good idea of where it is. Let's just exit the brain dance at this point. I think it was just to scan the entire building, right? The brain dance. The uh, brain dance. I think it's a big old waste of time, to be honest, because I'm just gonna go in, shoot my way through, and shoot this guy. I don't know why we're doing the brain dance in the first place. In the first place. I mean, it's good for people who want to. I'll think themselves and do a little bit of gameplay and stuff like that. But for me, I just don't care about that at all. I just mostly shoot my way through stuff and get it done with, really. Get everything you need? <sighs> yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cache and your data. You were never here. Put it on Ez tab. Portable device for handling DBs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not right as then. sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, you know what I see looking in? Walking, talking corpses. We already need to record that. Relax. Everything's under control. Nah, I'm not even going to say anything. Relax. I think we'll never know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, Siri will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Alright, let's get out of here. 
did not like that mission whatsoever. That mission was kind of, I don't know, pointless to me. I know it gave us all the information we needed about uh, what we needed to do about uh, for breaking into this place, but kind of pointless because, to be honest, well, it's not my style anyways. Really pointless. So what now? Connection to Yorbi? What's its nature exactly? Not afraid to tie you to the heist. You sure everything's under control? Uh, you know what? So what now? What Don't now? really care about anything else. V. Do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. What? No way. Dex, trust me. If you think I'm gonna... Are you willing to pay me? Are you gonna just pay me more than Dex ever uh, even pays me? Uh, you wanna ace or are you wanna ace our fixer? You wanna fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman, and a useless one at this point. Evelyn, we don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows, and actually follows. But if we're smart, doesn't matter. A mistake like that will cost you a rep. Without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. I prefer the, uh, the, fur the former boy, uh, girl. I just prefer the former. I'm not going to take any risk. I'm not going to about to, to leave Dex in the mist like that. No, well, no way. Dex, think? trust me, man. I'm not... You're not even gonna pay me or anything. Fuck you, man. No fucking way. Dex took a leap with me. He trusts me. Now I'm doing the same. 50%. With cred like that in your account, you won't need Dex for anything. Nope. I'm not about to fuck Dex over, man. I'm not doing it. 50% is not enough. 100% I'm gonna say yes. Aside from that, nothing, uh, nothing le le lower than a hundred. I'm not doing it. No, Evelyn. It's not just about the money. I thought you were a merc. I thought it was always about the money. Not behind the back of someone who trusts me. Sorry. Fine. I never asked. But V. Hmm. I just hope you're as good as you are naive. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few See, I've started you. a mission. I started a contract with Dex and I intend to keep it. That's what good mercs do. They don't switch a rule like crazy, even though the money's good. And uh, you gave me 50, but I'm not gonna pay, get that. Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Everything's ready to, call, uh, to roll. What's set. the next part? Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grab a nap. We'll talk about the rest at the after lunch. Uh, so See you there. Like, yeah. Great. Be there in no time. And I'm lost. I don't even know where I'm going. Okay, there we go. That's the entry zone. So, afterlife entrance. Uh, let me just yeah, steal that again. And uh, we're out of here, boys. I'm telling you, uh, add to the afterlife. So this is our next mission. The, the game is dangerously uh, rough sometimes, boys. Like sometimes I feel like it's gonna crash, but it doesn't crash. You know, it's kind of scaring me a little bit. All right, so afterlife entrance. Let's just go there, I guess. Yeah, I'm not about to fuck over Dex, man. He gave me a contract. I intend to keep it, man. Uh, guys, like honestly, who the hell would I be? So, um, hola V, how's it going? Uh, what's the status? Met with a client, played me a BD of the place where Sue. Uh, let you know, Jack. Let you know later. I don't have time for this. Let you know later. I don't have time to uh, to tell you anything. So track job the heist. So I, I'm guessing this is the main mission because there's only one main mission. Yeah, it's this one. All right, so good. Uh, let's go do it, boys. I'm not gonna waste any time here. All right, let's start it up, boys. We're uh, getting closer to the location. Talk to Jackie. Are we doing this with Jackie, uh, the heist and stuff? Or are we doing this alone? I don't know. Uh, Jack, I'm here, buddy. You want to talk to me or something? All right, get off your phone. All right. Uh, you look tense. Looks like you just ran a marathon. Something happened? Here's a merc working yet. 
still sweat like a roasted pig when I duck through my mom. Can't help yourself, you know? Checking to see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster, like most of the Wells boys. It's really starting to wear on me. The more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. But that's done after tomorrow. After life, here we come, baby. <laughs> yeah! Alright, the Eiffel is known for and why, uh, far and wide, okay? Wouldn't be here for, uh, if not for Dex. Now I'm just gonna say the second option. Gonna be long yeah. to life. Known far and wide, that name. Oh yeah? Some of the Nomad Clan's biggest jobs were scored right here. Don't surprise me. Ain't no better place than Night City to land a gig. Alright, follow Jackie. Let's box. do it, boys. Yeah. I think we're gonna do that mission with him after all it's gonna be a big heist i love it but see i've got jackie all the more reasons to think that to why do we do this old bd that. thing that was kind of pointless you already know Very jackie cool, is right? just like me a guy that likes to shoot her is way Proper through people Barry. he's not gonna about to do this the silent way or anything what the hell why are we doing this so smoothly Name's V. It's Jack Wells. Well, I, all I can tell you is friends of Dexter, that's for sure. We're friends of Dexter Deshaun. He's expecting us. Yo, Dex. Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? Alright then. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourselves drinks or something. Way ahead of you, yeah. Alright, we're in, boys. Let's go get a drink. Uh, there's actually something for me right there, uh, hanging out there. The hell? I, th I can talk to Claire. I don't want to talk to Claire. There's something hanging out there for me or whatever. Let me actually talk to her while I'm at it then. Yo, Claire, what's going on? I don't know who you are, but I can talk to you, so. Oh, that's the girl. Oh, that's the waitress I was about to say. Okay, uh, can I just take the thing right there that's there? Right there. Can I take this? Out of my ass. There go, I got it, boys. Okay, uh, okay, so I don't, she doesn't want to talk to me at all. That's just great, isn't it? Uh, we got a couple of shards and stuff like that. Let me see. No level ups. Okay, I think we're good. Let's start it up, boys. Sit. Sit up. We're going to wait for Dex, boys. What old lady? Best fixer in all of Night City. Thought Dex was the best. Rogue was lining up jobs when Dex was still shitting in diapers. <laughs> Place belongs to her. What can I get you? Uh, you picked for me? Nothing, nothing. I'm good, thanks. For real? I'm celebrating. Come on. It's on me. I'm not drinking, buddy. Fine. Have it your way. A tequila old fashioned with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. One Johnny Silverhand coming up. Right on, Chica. Somebody did their homework. Looks like the dog ate mine. Age old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. But you have to go. Okay. They wanted a drink named after me. What would I have to do? Snuff it. Mind blowingly spectacular fashion. It ought to be best. Ah, what a beautiful tradition. Guess there's no such thing as living legends. Steep price to pay. Steep price to pay for a drink. Hey, everyone's gotta go sometime, right? Why not in style? <laughs> oh, and by the way, name's Jackie Wells. You wanna write down my recipe? Hmm, sure. Shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice, ginger beer, oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. Ha <laughs> I'll remember that. Heard you were Dex's latest finds. Just biz, no big deal. How do you know? Is Dex a regular? Dex a regular? Does he come here a lot? Had a sort of long hiatus, matter of fact. Didn't show his face for nearly two years. Tomcat's gotta walk his own path, right? Well, wherever he walked, he knocked a few pounds off. Guess they weren't delivering that pizza I mentioned before. 
All right. Well, let's just stand up, man. We had enough already. I think he's waiting for us. Follow Dex's bodyguard. I I will. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna interact with Dex boys and afterwards we'll end it, I guess, uh, the video before going to the big time heist or anything like that, right? So let's just do our thing right here. We're stuck in the mission anyways, so we might as well uh, finish it while we're at it or finish the dialogue point right here. All right, we're here. Let's uh, let's go talk to him, boys. Let's find out. Can I open the door? Why are we waiting so long? There's some uh, pauses here, here and there that are so weird that's right. so like you gotta wait for so long and stuff like that. All right, that's you, buddy. What's going on here? All right, what's next? Uh, can I sit down? Whole family in one place. Finally. First time in real space. I'm gonna take the suit. I mean, I, I might as well take the suit. All right, put the flat head down. Okay. Well, there it is. All right, let's sit down, boys. Sweet boot. You soundproof? Jackie. Now, now. Mr. Wells is right. We're going to be going over some sensitive material. But if it's all right with y'all, I'd like to start with a question for Mr. V. Evelyn Parker, how'd you fare? Don't like her pretty much. She went behind your back, buddy, pretty well. A uh, sock place place from the inside, not bad, but she wants to cut you loose. Exactly, I'm gonna tell him. Uh, Mr. V? Couldn't have gone better. In fact, she liked me so much, she made me another offer. Another offer? Mm-hmm. Kind where we ditched the middleman and split the pot in even 50-50. What? <coughs> Ditch the middleman? <laughs> that's what she said. Shit, now that's real. <laughs> <laughs> Clients never learn, do they? They never learn. I do appreciate you sharing this info, though, Mr. V. You see, trust is essential in any partnership that's to be long lasting and fruitful. All right, appreciation uh, still falls short. Yeah, the, the appreciation still falls short. Uh, I thought you'd pissed the. Uh, I thought you'd be pissed off. I thought you'd be pissed that you'd lose it. Lived in NC too long to blow my top every time some amateur thinks they can take me for a ride. Parker ain't the first, and sure as hell won't be the last. All right, then let's go over the job. How about we go over the plan? What you got for us, Dex? This. Well, here goes nothing. Me and Dex have already covered the fine heat. Ops wise, should be a stroll on the beach. Elaborate. I want to hear it. A Delamain will drop your asses at the front door of Kentucky Plaza. You'll stroll right in thanks to your false identity. Then, with Bug's help, you'll breach the hotel subnet. Mine and the Flathead's help. Last but not least, you slip into your Nobu penthouse and clep the relic. Goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. You'll have T-Bug on comms for the duration. Time for your burning question. Alright, so they don't want no bodies. That means I can't shoot people? No wonder we had to do this whole thing, boys. Damn it. Penthouse, how do we get in? What kind of cover do you get you? Uh, you get us? How do we get in the, the penthouse in the first place? How do we get in the penthouse? Your Nobu's got barely any muscle. Hardest part will be penthouse security. If we want to disable, we'll need to neutralize Compeki's dweller, elite runner monitoring the hotel subnet 24-7. Only catch is there's no way to get in the dweller's den from the outside. Hold on. How you want us to get inside a room you can't get into? Trust me when I say whatever hit you think of, T-Bug solved it already. This is where the flathead comes in. You'll have to get him in the ventilation shaft, guide him to the dweller, and force the dweller to take a break. Flathead will stay there, jacked into the dweller. But thanks to that, I'll be able to roll out your red carpet into the penthouse. Anything else? So we're going full watchdogs on the, on this mission. All right, I guess it's fine. Whatever, whatever works. Uh, no more questions. Let's okay. go. You're brought up to speed. Perfect. I got a question. 
When do we get to the real reason we're all here? Now's a good time as any. Why is Jackie so Fresh stressed out? You see his knees right there? He's so stressed out for some reason. I'm willing to make an exception in your case. I'm gonna cut you a nice juicy 40 as a bonus for your honesty, G. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. Bonus. See, you be honest. You were you keep working for the same person, keeps you giving you a bonus, boys. Sounds about right. Thanks, oh, but the ladies aren't all that important. Nah, nah, sounds about right. That's more like it, Dex. Cut ching, baby. Last thing, Kopecky's got a strict no iron policy. Security gates, the works. So you dogs will leave your lead spitters in the ride. Take the flathead inside in his cage. Got some death suits, so you'll look the part too. Yeah. Thanks, D. So, not to count chickens, but why don't we see our eddies? All depends how Miss Parker avails herself of her role. But a week, two tops, my guess. And what do we do while waiting? Sit around, suck air? You sit tight, heads down, because old Uncle Arasaka be watching. Now, as that old Greek dog says, life's a banquet. So don't go thirsty, but don't get drunk either. Your chariot awaits outside. My cue to Delta 2. Gotta prep to jack in. Be there when you come on comms. Any other issues? Now's your chance. Any thoughts on the plan? You and Dex? What's your story? Don't care about that. Thanks for helping with the scouts bug. Uh, don't f I don't fucking care. Alright, no more questions. Good. We're good. No questions. Don't care about any of these questions, man. These side questions are not worth it at all. You ready to get going it's or just what? for people who doubt themselves. Something I gotta take care of first. You ready to get going or what? Uh, let's go. Let's roll. Let's get going. We waiting. Yeah, we're not waiting. But when we said go uh, straight in, I thought we were gonna mean. I thought uh, I was gonna go back to home with him or something, not straight into the mission. I should have read that properly. Oh yeah. What about that time I wanted to hire you for my cousin's bachelor party, huh? Unfortunately, we do not take on such contracts. Three months I've been saving up scratch. Yeah, water under the bridge. Hit it, Del. Before we begin our journey, I must verify the identities of all customers. Please proceed to connect your personal links. All right. Well, before we do any of this, boys, um, I'm gonna end the video. We're gonna start this eye stop, I guess, in the next one. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this uh, video. Keep it easy.